Hello people, it's Metal Dungeons here, Metal007 here, um, just kind of a little bit of an announcement video. So, I'm recording this on September 10th, tomorrow will be September 11th, that's the day this video is going public. For my friends who may be wondering, why am I counting down on pretty much my personal social media, which is just Skype and Facebook really, like I don't run the page anymore, I've kind of abandoned that because, you know, I couldn't do it all the time, I have work, I do have work, I work all day, so... Um, well, reason why this is going public today, and the whole reason why this is, is to kind of get my thought about something out. So we all know, if you live in the U.S. at least, 9-11 was a tragedy for the country. Oh, by the way, my camera's set to face tracking. I'm not sure how good that's going to do. Really not sure how it does it either. Like, it looks like there's an eye in there that may move with my face. I'm not sure, but it, it kind of looks like there's actually a rotating ball in there. I'm not sure if that's what it is. It'd be cool, though. Um... By the way, sorry for getting all up in your face there, uh, but most of y'all may not know, 9-11 is actually my birthday. I was born, well, a few years before it, obviously, because tomorrow I turn 20, um, but no, I was, that was my birthday. I remember the day that the attack actually happened, even, but um, as much as I kind of actually treasure that day because of, well, my birthday and all that, there's a lot of things that I do also take time to do. Like, I do actually take time for a piece of silence for everyone who perished in the towers this day. But, at the same time, there's one thing that no one ever seems to do. And I happen to also take the time to do this. To remember all the people who were born on that day that are forgotten every single year on that day. Like, literally last year, my senior year of high school, two maybe three of my friends actually remember my birthday out of all my closest friends like the ones that went to school of course my friends that don't go there uh because i was always friends with older groups because i really should have been a great ahead of blake and all them anyway um or mischief and shadow else as you might know them as um but really of uh, the people that were in my grade there's only one friend that I have that was actually born on that day. And every year, I, re I remember to tell him happy birthday, and he remembers to tell me. Every year, that's because, well, he's like me now. This doesn't bother him nearly as much as it does me. Think about it, people. All of the people who were born on that day that are forgotten every single year. Yes, I'm messing with something, a little Duracell battery, uh, screwdriver thing. I, I don't know why I can't do these videos without something in my hand. Um, but no, um, but I, like I said, I've been working a lot, so, I mean, I might not even have time to edit this right and all that, so it might just be thrown together badly, and then published really fast, because I want this up tomorrow night, or the 9-11 night, the night of 9-11, okay, either way, because it's not 10 right now, but, um, no, I mean, this is just something that's bothered me for years, that people never take the time to sit there and remember the people who are forgotten. Because, I mean, yeah, so, so what? So my friends forgot forgot about my birthday. Well, I'm a very liked person, so... I mean, I can only imagine what it's like for someone who's not liked, really. Never hearing happy birthday from anyone on that day. And always seeing that everyone is remembering other people on that day. People that aren't even here anymore. Well, yeah, that I, that has to hurt. I mean... I'm not gonna, yeah, I've, it kind of hurts me a little bit that whenever a friend forgets, but, or whenever my close, one of my close friends forget for like a whole month or so, but, so what, I mean, I have a great life, I'm very well liked, someone who's not, I can only imagine how they feel, I can only imagine, I have no idea, I mean, there's a lot of things I can only imagine, like I've never broken a bone in my life, I need to knock on some wood, I need to knock on some better wood than what I'm surrounded by, uh, that's, my dresser's made of some good wood. It's nice and sturdy. Sorry if I don't reply to this, Cassie. You might get a little anxious. Uh, I know. Um, this year, I just challenge y'all, or at least tonight, and make this a thing to go on every year, because I've, I've been trying to get this out since last year, really. Um, brought it up to the school, and the school just kind of said, yeah, we don't care about them. We don't care, because literally every week they would announce people's birthdays and all that from the school and all that and I had teachers that did that well they didn't announce anyone's birthday 
on that week. They made it the week of 9-11. Did not remember anyone's birthday. Even on the week of Labor Day, they announced people's birthday. Even on Veterans Day, they announced people's birthday and had a silence for all veterans. Like, on all those days, I mean, they have... They announced everyone, but on 9-11? No, they never did. No teacher really did. I had a f I've had a few teachers that would remember because, you know, they're good. And my bus driver always remembered. She was real nice. She was good about remembering everything. Especially everyone. And especially their birthdays. Well, well, you see, that's just a few people. Again, yeah, I mean, yeah, a few people, yeah, that should be enough, but, you know, just think about it. There's lots of people on this day, not 11, that have been forgotten and almost are never remembered on their own birthdays. I mean, I'm only really pointing this out because I've had friends, even some of my closest friends, who would ask me every single year, when is your birthday? And I tell them every single time, 9-11. And they are, they're always like, oh, it must be terrible having a birthday on that. At least I should remember. No. I have friends that don't. Every year. Never. And I've actually had friends that would ask, like, the week after my birthday. I was like, oh, well, I'm sorry, I missed it. They're like, yeah, you should know. I've told you two or three times now. But no, this is just a thing to me, so. Just remember, people. On days that were, that were where there were tragedies, lots of people were forgotten. Well, me being born on one of those days and have was actually celebrating my birthday when the tragedy happened in my pre-K or kindergarten class, I can't even remember. It's like six when it happened, so, or something like that. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I think I was six. If it was, I think it was 2001, so I would have been six, so, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, we were about to eat my cake, and I get checked out of school, not knowing what's going on, drive all the way back to Delhi, which is a good drive, because it was my mom's week at that time, so I was staying with her, and my dad couldn't take off, my dad couldn't take off work, or I don't think he could, I, mean, I don't really know where he was at the time, I know my mom left school, cause she was in college, she left school to come and get us, me and my sisters, and we sat inside, and we watched the news, and while at the same time, there was also a crop duster flying over, he was doing flips and tricks and all that in the air, sure he didn't know what was going on, and I wanted to be outside, but my mom wouldn't let me. I didn't, I couldn't comprehend what was going on. All I knew is planes were running into that big tower, and they were blowing up. And it was kind of cool. But people were dying, so not so cool. But I did not realize what was really going on. I mean, I realized it, I mean, I knew what it was by first grade and all that. I think that is when I learned it, because I think I actually asked, but still. Um, but just remember, on days of tragedy... Remember all the people who are forgotten, and take time to sit there and tell them happy birthday. Or even greet them. Be nice to them. Do something. Till then, smell doves, I'm saying, hope this message kind of reached you, because I've been trying for a long time to get it to reach someone. And as that time of year again, hope it reached you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.